What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are gonna be starting day eight of the 1993 truck build. It is a 1993 Chevy 1500 regular cab short bed truck that I purchased about four months ago. It has 54,000 original miles on it. Actually got it from the original owner as well. It's a super nice truck, factory paint, and it was a clean slate to start on. We actually powder coated the frame. You can watch all the previous videos uh, if you have a lot of questions. Watch the, the build series on this truck. It'll probably answer just about everything you have so far. Today we are uh, putting all the brake lines on the truck. We got a whole full LMC truck, stainless factory replacement brake line kit. We're doing that now. Just fitting a lot of the other stuff on. Let's go over here and uh, see what we got going on so far. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. So we got the 10 bolt here. Uh, this is for the truck. It's pretty much all the way assembled. We are waiting for a little bracket here for this e-brake kit on the truck so that way we can kind of finish assembling everything here. Uh, but as you can see, you got the uh, lower control arm, uh, shock mount brackets. Uh, yeah, these are the shock mount brackets. Isn't that right? Yep. Is the lower control arm or is it just a shock? This is the shock. Okay. Then you got your uh, trailing arm on the front. front oh, side. okay. There it this is. This is where okay. the paint hard bar That goes. makes sense, yeah. So Going a bunch of different mounting points on these brackets. These comes with that QA1 kit. is a full coilover kit. Gets rid of the leaf springs. We had the rear diff housing powder coated, which looks really nice. Um, then we got some big Willwood brakes that are going on this from Little Shop. Uh, basically got everything ready to go. Got all the new brake lines on and all that good stuff. Um, right now, we're getting the, the brake line kit on the truck. Uh, we have all the front QA1 suspension stuff on, the big 16-inch uh, uh, Willwood Little Shop brake kit on the front of the truck right now. Just kind of getting this thing tidied up while we're waiting on some very, very important parts to come in, like our motor mounts, our rack and pinion kit, and our middle brace that goes here that holds the transmission and all that good stuff. So just kind of hung up waiting on a few parts, but uh, hopefully they are coming and we can keep on rolling right along with this project here. This is day eight, this truck started, drove on the rack and uh, we're at this point on day eight. That's a lot of work that's been done in a short amount of time. Basically this rolling chassis is gonna be brand new. Every single nut and bolt on this uh, chassis is gonna be new and the best of the best that you can buy. We're doing the torque arm assembly right now, getting all the, the mounts and everything on. These are the parts that we were missing from uh, QA1, but they got us hooked up quick. They overnighted these parts to us, got them fast. So big props to QA1 for getting us these parts. There's a million parts in those uh, the suspension kit from QA1. So it's definitely understandable and it's a new kit. So it's it's understandable how you could have some missing parts because there is a lot. It comes in four different boxes, but Steven's getting the rod ends on it right now, and then we're probably gonna go ahead and set the rear end in the truck and see how it looks with uh, all four four corners on it. Got a lot of the brake lines going on the truck right now. These are the ones that go up into the brake booster, so. LMC gives you all the lines. Now I will say they don't have instructions. So luckily we have the 454 over here that we can uh, get the lines where they need to go because we've had this thing apart for two weeks with Christmas and New Year's break when we were closed. So it's kind of hard to remember where everything goes because all the lines come, you know, separately. It doesn't all come together. So I, I recommend if you're going to be replacing the lines on your truck and you don't have another one to look at, you know, kind of do one at a time. They do send you the diagram though, but it's very vague. Yeah. And it's for both, for all three chassis. For the Steven price though, Steven, you can't beat it because yeah. all the stuff is really good quality and everything's been fitting great, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, everything's Yeah, like, there's only one line that's bent in the box. They wow. tell you that. Yeah, and they tell you and you just unbent yeah. it. Nice. Right here, the shipping bend. <laughs> Everything else that's is laid funny. in there. That's the big long line though. Yep. Cool, so Steven's getting all that done right now and uh, we'll get a rear end in this thing here pretty soon. 
got the lower control arms mounted on. We're just getting ready to put this rear end on the frame for the first time since we got it all powder coated. We have the torque arm over here. It's all rod end mount. This end though is mounting to that bracket right there, that cross brace bracket that QA1 supplies you with. Uh, but really we got this thing ready to go. We're gonna get this uh, rear diff lifted off the bench there and over on the ground to put it on some jack stands. There it is, sitting down in there. Got the coilovers on, those are double adjustable. QA1s there. As you can see it's got the lower control arm, then the torque arm's gonna go from there to right there. Once that all on it, actually hooks to the rear cover, QA1 sends a rear cover yeah. with the rear end setup. Steven, that looks really good on there. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Probably mock the, the torque arm up because there's not an exact measurement for the torque arm. I don't know what they call this extra arm. Thank you. Right, okay, if it's 620 bucks, it's probably 20 bucks itself. I see, yeah. And that one attaches to the cover that goes there and then i'll once i have it all on i'll mount that bracket yeah it's gonna be solid yeah it's gonna be a nice setup right there and we went ahead and adjusted for the seven inch drop qa1 sends with the instructions what the notches are on the drop this one's gonna be a seven inch drop so it's gonna be real nice and low to the ground yeah. tucking that nice weld up in the up in the bed there you see how close the rear end is in the notch already yeah on yeah i know right of course it it really won't have a lot of movement with those coilovers yeah it'll be a really nice stiff suspension getting the torque arm on right now what do you think tim I think this is awesome. It's man. pretty cool it's little cool, kit. Yeah. It's yeah. been a lot of unique things on each step. You're hitting the rod on the floor. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh. get your rod off the floor <laughs> there, Devin. Red rod. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's really. And then this bracket here, there's another bracket that's going to go right around yeah, here. Right here. Yeah, there it is. That's the part we were waiting on, Steve. Yep. Now we have three of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah, they, they sent too. they sent three. We oh, needed one, they sent three. Cool. They're all yeah. greasable. Yep, everything's greasable. You can't be having a squeaky suspension, Devin. Mm -hmm. We're going to have that high temp Deco grease in it. So for the first time, everybody, we have yeah. basically all, both corners of the truck ready for some uh, wheels and tires. We almost got a rolling chassis. Yeah waiting on a couple more parts and I think tomorrow we'll be able to have this thing possibly sitting on the ground if we get everything, which will be really cool. And then the fun part begins of engine install. Yeah. And wiring and all the My fun, favorite. all wiring. the fun stuff. <laughs> QA1 sticker. Hey, hey now. whoever's assembling this Look stuff. Look at that one too. Yeah, they put the <laughs> QA1 stickers <laughs> upside down. That's no problem though. It's just sticker. We can take it off and put another one on there. Yep. We'll Gotta rep these guys because that's an awesome suspension we'll they did. We'll put that big sticker on like the other. Yeah, big yeah, we'll put the big one on there. Yeah, yeah. We'll the QA1 on. did such an awesome job with this suspension. We gotta let we gotta let them know that we love it. And yeah, it'll be on the truck for years to come. Hey, on the table. We went ahead and slipped one of the rear brake rotors on. Now we're gonna slip the caliper on and see what it all looks like. When you're building a building something like this, it's always cool to mock up the stuff before you're 100. percent That way, you can kind of get a visual of what it's going to be like when it's all said and done. It's got to be straight. There you go. Bam. Well, that's nice. Is there supposed to start? be a spacer back yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there will be. Is it just on the rotor? Yeah. Look at that, everybody. You throw a rear wheel on to make sure it clears Dang. everything. Scrap one. Went ahead and got one of the welds on here. We're going to see how it fits with the brakes. I think it'll be all right going by the front one that we fit on there last night. Oh, yeah. Plenty of room. Looks perfect. Look at the studs, oh, yeah. too. We got some. You got a lot of room. You oh, can yeah. Put a spacer it's going to pass NHRA tech, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, yeah, those brakes still look pretty big in there too. Yeah. So, man, Steven, this is good progress right here. Yeah. What is it? Eight, eight days. This is day That's eight. Why I to day see. eight. Day eight, eight from starting this thing. Off, about to be cabin bed on. Yep. By yourself. No, she's doing good. We got most of the rear end mocked up right mm -hmm. now, and there's really no words for it. It looks amazing. Uh, this is a real nice setup here with the brakes and everything mocked up. Once we get the, the parts from Little Shop, hopefully tomorrow, we can really get this rear end buttoned up and uh, start installing the LT4 over there. Uh, we did see the rack and pinion, but just the rack and pinion show up uh, from Elevated Concepts. This was drop shipped. We're still waiting on all the bracketry and all that good stuff so hopefully that stuff shows up soon that way we can kind of get the steering and stuff mocked up and bolted up but i mean this this truck's gonna look insane from the back i mean you can see there you're gonna be able to see the coilovers and all the cool bars going across we still got to put the the sway bar on the rear sway bar from qa1 this is just a really nice kit though turned out really good so this truck's going to have a really nice ride to it once it's all done and be able to stop well. <laughs> it's going to go and stop very fast. Heck yeah. Got the front core support off the truck right here. We started talking about it and uh, we're going to go ahead and disassemble this thing and actually have this sandblasted and powder coated gloss black to match the frame over here. It's definitely showing some age on it. So... We've gone this far with the truck on making everything perfect. Might as well just keep on going. So uh, Steven's disassembling all of this right now. What we got here, Steven? This is- Mounts. Oh, these are the mounts. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice, nice, those nice. Those are slick. Yeah, so those are gonna go on the body. Body oh. mount. He said we might need to get some extra bolts because he didn't have all the oh, bolts Oh, because these are the block pieces too, right? Yeah, yeah. He said it's the bolts that go actually in the, on the frame themselves. Oh, He's we trying to those. get these to us so that way we can get finished up on them. And yeah, I think he said it's the engine ones that go on the engine as well. Yeah, there they are. Sweet. That's him. Oh, yeah. Cool. So now we can get uh, finished with the, the get frame. The get the frame together. We were supposed to have <clears throat> our other engine mounts that I ordered in uh, mid this week, but they haven't shown up yet. Haven't got any tracking info. So we're going to use these on the truck so that way we can get this front end assembled and keep rolling right along. I just, we don't have time to wait on stuff that we should have had. So. Steven's gonna go ahead and get these mounted up. So these are the little shop. Oh yeah, little brake shop levers. also sent us our brake stuff as well. Those guys are awesome. So they uh, we were missing some parts in the kit. There's a lot of parts that we had, and uh, one of his guys sent him USPS, and he's like, "Man, they won't be there until Saturday." So um, they actually overnighted us one via USPS or UPS yesterday, so that way we'd have them today and uh, before the weekend hit, and so we can get this thing together on the back end too. Is that what we needed, Steve? Yep, show them while we're waiting. Sweet. These guys. This is like the newer style e-brake handle. Yep. So now we have the one where the cable slides in it. Yep. This might be the other side, but yeah. Yeah, Man, those will work And then you cut your cable and add a new stop for it. So I guess oh, okay. the length is different yep. from your drum. That'll work. Pretty cool. Yeah. So we got those. So big we can get the front and the back together. Yeah. Big props to Little Shop for getting those to us. Quick. Oh, Steven's got the sway bar on too. Yeah. Not all the way tight, but it's, mount. it's yeah. on there. It'll sit about. Oh, we got to drill another mount. Yeah, it'll sit about like that. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, the front mount, because we didn't have them initially. Oh, yeah. So you that's add right. those there, and then here's the. Have a nice end link on there. This thing's probably going to be braced pretty well, I would say. Yeah. 
Cool. All right, so we got some stuff. Got this brake line on this morning too. Oh yeah, that looks good. So looks real nice. No. We're gonna take the core support here in just a few minutes to get uh, sandblasted and powder coated. We'll have that next week because we'll probably need it next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once the motor's in. I'll be curious to see once we get the motor mounts on. Hopefully everything fits on the front accessories and stuff on the motor headers and yeah. all that stuff. So it's a pretty tight package. That's a so. big tackle. <laughs> Hopefully crossing our fingers, everything yes. works. Don't want to have to cut a hole in the frame. <laughs> no, definitely not. Cool. Also got this box from Eddie Motorsports. Figure we might as well just go all out. So we got the oh, the billet hood yeah. hinges. These are the black anodized ones. We didn't go with the exposed polish. So. No more prop? It does have a pro. Oh, yeah, yeah. The shocks. No, yeah. We got to have the shocks. We can't be having that. Oh, yeah. We can't be having the is Mustang. Is it a double prop. on these? No, yeah. These are different. What's this? Oh, it's probably Part of it? bolt, on, bolt on the side of the frame. So oh, the prop. Okay. Damn, those are nice. Oh, yeah. Teal the deal. Mm -hmm. Instructions. The whole deal. Nice. These damn things were pricey for yeah. what they are. <laughs> yeah. But it's the only ones you can get. More billet. Yeah. yeah. Like nice little beauty washers. Yeah. Yeah, it should look pretty nice in there. Getting the OBS build moving right along here. Got the new e-brake brackets on that we were showing you just a little bit ago. Steven's got those all fitted on here with the e-brake cables. Routed around, got the rear diff cover on for good now that the axles are all bolted in. Yep. Ready to go. Just needs some fluid. She's thirsty down there. But got the e-brake cables ran. Had to uh, shorten some stuff up and move some brackets, but everything's on here. And the rear of this truck is almost fully assembled now. And uh, we can concentrate on uh, getting the front going and a bunch of odds and ends stuff now oh well, yeah and the motor After the cover and the yeah. torque arm and all that i can assemble and finish all the brakes yeah oh yeah yeah Hit put the all the pads the in and all yep. that good stuff yeah so that'll be sweet qa1 sending us some new stickers oh sweet. for the rear diff cover nice so we'll have that on there pimp them out a little bit yeah and then uh yeah so we got Bunch of progress being made here. This will be painted this will look good. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff uh, done on the rear here, almost completed. Um, we got the sway bar on. It's got uh, adjustable end links on it. This is a QA1 a sway bar for these trucks. Uh, they recommend using it with their kit. We're just gonna do the rear one and we're not gonna do the front one since this truck will mainly be like a street strip race type truck. So. That's also why we went with the, the QA1 suspension because it is set up a little bit more for drag racing versus the Ride Tech kit. Uh, we got the shocks mounted on. We got the brakes completely mounted. Uh, got the new e-brake brackets on from Little Shop. Got the e-brakes hooked up. Everything looks really good. We're going to wait until we get the bed and everything on this with the cab as far as weight goes to adjust all the suspension. They want this bar kind of parallel with the frame. Uh, it's pretty close right now, especially when there's weight on there, but this thing's really going to ride. <laughs> it's going to ride really good. Uh, the suspension set up pretty stiff right now. Okay. We've got the rear cover all the way bolted on. We need to put fluid in the rear diff. It's ready to go. Steve's over here finishing up the brake on this side. Uh, do you have any issues, Steven, when you're putting on the, the brake kit or anything? No. Everything fit really Everything good. Everything is pretty well, like how they suggest shim wise. Nice. The only like I had to add one shim every, so I had to double the shims on, on the front, on the brake calipers the to really center it in nice. and out on the rotor. So they come pretty so centered. It. Yeah. Cool. So there's like a little spacer here, and you they say add one shim, and it's pretty close. You can see, like as far as centered in the brake caliper, it's pretty good. Yeah, it does look really so good. So even the bracket on the yeah. the brake hat itself 
I just did their suggested shims as well. Yeah. So what do you think of the QA1 kit now that you've pretty much installed the whole kit? It's nice. Is it? Now that I know where everything goes and we got all our parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did get all of our parts. Thanks to QA1 for uh, getting us all the stuff. We actually have extras, Steven, so if, yeah. we, if we ever miss anything else, we'll have some extra well, parts. Actually, one thing that I was probably going to question was the, it's either the QA1 or the brakes. Yeah. I have to, so they say to put this bracket for the e-brake cables right here. Okay. But I ran into this cable being about a foot too long. And that's because, the one that goes to this e-brake yeah, over here? so I don't have it hooked up yet because since I had to, it was a foot too long because it goes to the bottom of the drum. So I was like, well, there's two holes already here. So I moved the bracket forward. Well, then I had slack here, but then once gotcha. I cut the end off, now I can cut this cable to exactly the length that I need. So what you're saying that. is move the bracket from these two holes yeah. to these two holes, especially if you're using like the the little shop brake kit. Yeah. And, and those now, holes, are already, those like holes are already in the frame? These holes perfect. are already, and they lined up and everything. Didn't nice. have to do nothing. So keep that in mind, guys. This is one of your uh that's a bed mount yep uh so that's your front bed mount right there he bolted the e-brake bracket with the qa1 kit in between there for uh lengthwise full adjustment right here in the little turnbuckle for both cables very nice so once we have the cab on and i can connect the front cable to this i can pull all the slack out yeah and cut it to length cool and put the stop on so this this truck we got factory style e-brakes in it uh, we got the brand new 14 inch Willwood disc brakes. Um, we got all new factory brake lines from LMC, all stainless. And then the little shop kit actually comes with flexible line that goes from the caliper into the f factory brake line, which you can see right here, goes all the way around to right there. So it's a really nice kit. Highly recommended if you got the, the money to, uh, splurge on these things on your obs build these things are wicked got the motor mounts on those things look good yeah they're fun to put on are they <laughs> yeah a little pain i did it without having to take anything off but yeah you gotta like fish your arm through here there's a little hole right here to you can get a ratchet oh, okay. in this side's each side's different but they're on nice all right, time to put a yeah. LT4 in. Yeah, brake lines are pretty much all. It's only it's Friday. It's Friday at five. We can get this thing done. <laughs> get close. Looks good. 